Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel once again. My name is Ronald. First things first, like, share, subscribe so you never miss a bite. Well, today I'm doing a DIY as you've seen at the beginning of this video. Today I'm actually painting our washroom. It's been a while but we need to get it done. Actually when, when we moved in, we never painted it because it looked fine. But we did do a backsplash, as you can see that clip. Check out that video, how that was done. Hey and it'll give us some love of course. Now, without further ado, let's jump into it. So first thing first, you always want to either wipe or wash your walls to make sure they're nice and uh, you know, you get all the crumbs off, all the dust, so that way you get a nice clean wall once you actually paint. And that's what I'm doing right now. And the other thing you probably should do is sand your walls. Uh, cleaning it's better for walls that are not that old or maybe that are not that badly off but it's better to actually give some sanding as well um, because typically you have uh, you know that roughness on there maybe which came from the previous paint so you need to give it a little bit of uh, you know uh, a sanding so that it will be smoother and also will look better too Since this is such a very dark color, and we're going to put something lighter on it, so we decided to put on white to start, and then we'll move from there. I'm also not worried about touching the ceiling, because I'm also going to actually give it a, a paint as well, so it is okay. Because usually you be careful not touching other places, but that's the rest of, the rest of my worries. So you go as close as you can, that way you don't have too much to cut. By cutting I mean because you know sometimes people either use, I use some tape on here like I said to cover some of this but I don't put tape here because I'm just going to cut as long as you trust yourself to, with your cutting. So I learned my painting skills mainly from uh, uh, Uncle Louis, uh, Sarah Sekalala, uh, basically this is what taught me a lot in terms of painting to be honest.
Okay, so now I'm doing basically a second coat on here. Um, you know, to basically look much better. Because as you can see, basically from the beginning we had, that's what it looked like from the, you know, before we painted. And that's, this is what it looks like right now. Again, as for the ceiling, because now we need, we yet also to work on uh, the walls with the aperture color we want on it. Because we have to put some white on it, you know, due to the fact that this was a strong color uh, on the walls. Now it's time to actually put on the actual paint we want. I mean, what a difference, right? Between what you saw then and now. I mean, it's already a big difference, right? So now it's time to put this on. So it looks like. But as you can see, the ceiling is basically done already. As you saw already, it looks amazing, right? So we're gonna wrap it up and um, yeah, see how it looks. All right, let's see. Let me, let us show you what it actually looks like. My wife picked this one up. She really liked the, the shade of it. Look at that. It's basically kind of white, but it has it's a bit off. So it's definitely gonna be look amazing. I wanted a spa like feel. Oh, there you go. Look at the beauty. Looks the butter. It doesn't show on camera, but there's green a, a hint of green to this. Which I think is going to show really nicely on the wall. Oh yeah. And we go. Looks beautiful. And the first hand. Yeah. It's actually different. You see that guys? Yeah, you can see it. It's different on the sand. You can tell that there's a big difference between the first and what you see here. But well, this is not pure white, right? Okay, when it comes to cutting it, as I said, you don't necessarily have to uh, tap. You can just be careful, take your time, just like that carefully. From one end onto another. But also, of course, it's good to mention that uh, it's good to have a good brush. And uh, by that, I mean, I say it's really so expensive, but good brush meaning uh, it doesn't have, it's not hairy. By hairy, meaning like on the side, it has too many little things going on the side which might touch the other side. Uh, it's more or less comes down to so nowadays they sell brushes that are angled and if it's angled that means definitely gonna help you with your cutting hence saving you money uh, in terms of not having to buy tape
Well, it's tedious work, but someone has to do it. Either you get someone to get, do it for you, or you do it for, for yourself. At the end of the day, I'm actually done. Now, I typically do a, a word of the day here, if you don't know that. So, I'm going to do a word of the day today. So, the word of the day is a toilet. As you can see here, in my language, toilet we say latrini latrini is a toilet uh, in my language well i hope you got that anyways check out my typical videos which is cooking and of course there was as you know uh like today i uh, check those out let me know what you think about it and of course i'll hope to see you in my next video and before that give me a thumbs up like share subscribe bye guys